What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, it's Bees, the Trackster, and welcome back to another dance hall video tutorial. Another one where I'm going to mix down the sundown with him. Um, this one is a little tricky. Um, tricky in that this rhythm not really have that much as far as VST. It only have one. But the crux of this rhythm is me like the, the body, the main instruments, the main parts of this rhythm is all samples, is me. And it's a very atmospheric, very dreamlike type of situation, is it? So we have to tread careful. We are going to approach it the same way we approach a regular rhythm, is me, you know that go. But we have to keep in mind a lot of the times the type of rhythm what we have built is me. It's not just about building a rhythm just because you build a rhythm. You have to keep in mind the type of rhythm. Maybe some atmospheric and you want all about reverb and you see me? them type of things. So these are the things to keep in mind. But without chatting favor, let's um let's get into it. So the very first sound we are gonna bring in right is this guitar loop now this is the main sound for this track this is really the backbone of the track as you can hear rc we just have a four filter pro cube on it i filter out some shit so let's really go in and one and tweak another thing what we are going to do is we are going to right click we are going to reset the master we'll put the master and chain on it from now so when we do need it, is me, we already have it, but we're gonna turn off everything. No, we're gonna get into the crux of this thing. So now guitars, boom top. Like that, but I like this a little bit more. Little more clarity I come through, isn't me? Another thing we we'll go with, we'll do some light, very light compression on this thing. More of just a control, some things, you see, when I got too much. I we'll got TB Pro Audio Dynamics and we're we'll going to use the. Hmm. Man, I'm trying to remember what the compressor name. Yeah, it's the channel strip, not just a compressor. Yes, this thing looks um, a little bit daunting, but trust me, it's a very simple thing. We don't need the EQ, so we turn that off. All we need is the compressor, so we turn that on. Now, as I said, there's a comp one, there's a comp two. There are differences when I go into that right now. Just know, say we need the compression. So we we'll turn on the analog noise if we want it. We don't need it, but let me say, we're going to do some light compression, so... Let's get to that. So this is the lever right now. No compression. We have side chain filters, you know. I don't believe they're on. No, they are. So we can side chain or we can change up the side chain in. You know what I mean? Or we can also listen to just the compressor signal as opposed. This is a very good channel. So we might do a video about it in the future. But Change the color. Is me? Bad piece of, I mean, it's a bad piece of strip. I just, in the future, we talk about it more. So, really, so we are going to do a 3 to 1 type of compression. We are going to do up to attack. We are going to do about 10. Actually, like we spotted the, the release, we are going to do something like a slow. Actually, let's do auto release and see what that sound like. So, now we start dialing about the threshold. The red line is the gain reduction. So, let's take a listen now. No, actually, let's turn on gain reduction. Sorry about that. This is sure input. This is sure gain reduction. So let's listen to that. As you can see, too aggressive, very quick, snapping. I don't like that. So I'm going to increase the attack. I want it to attack slow. Or take off the auto release and slow it down a little bit. I don't want it too aggressive. Now we are going to side chain the signal so the compressor now and just grab every little spike. So, this is want it soft, something like that. 
Nice, 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 nice. Cool. Now, it's a show input and output. So if we were to then bypass everything, Next, let's try out something. I'll try to plug in and we'll just get and see how it sounds. So let's pause this video real quick and forward back. I'm going to scan for the plugin. So give me one second. All right, so this plugin is called Lisa. It's a six band dynamic EQ, but it's since the figure since me, the app. I'm going to use it, I might as well try it out on something. So I'm going to first default it. I'm going to play around with it so I can come up with it. So it's a very subtle EQ. Can I just crank up 11 dB? I'm in early ear too much. So very subtle. So it's definitely not bad. Um, I can see me use this a lot on a mix bus. So I'll probably play around with it and come up with a preset and see if it. Very, very good, um, honestly. It's not not bad. Well, if you, in this uh, case, for me, I use it on my use guitar. Um, but it's a dynamic EQ. It, it have used in vocals. Um, I really believe like with something like this, it would be more beneficial on a mix bus for do some polishing and, and this definitely me feel like I'm going to use it most but it works so um, and from the guitar let's move into the the drums and the, the keyboard so and you're going to hear some noise in my background that's a dryer run right now so first we'll bring in the first keyboard very quiet it's an upright piano but it has some effects on it so very quiet. Um, that's fine. The second want it. Add some reverb to it. More than what I want it. 
kind of get it for you. Um, you know, stick out. The guitar, we're going to turn that down. Now, the other two keyboard, we have a high pitch one here. We're going to run EQ on this. And we're going to do piano. We're going to do, let's see. like this then for the other side run a EQ on that as well nice bring in the guitar which I am not done with the guitar. And speaking of, let's bring in my fourth ox, which would be the H3000 from Eventide. Oh, make all of these block. And load up the Eventide H3000. And the preset we're gonna use is the guitar 231 micro pitch. We'll send it to that, send it to the two reverb, turn the stone. Now we'll send the event add into both of the reverbs moderately. Cool. Next, we're gonna do the bass. So typically, you know, some of my bass in my thump, but in this track, I'm feeling more key the bass. I like a bit laid back, I like a bit controlled. I don't know how to do that. I feel that I like the low end. Boom. On the bass, I'm going to put a limiter. Waves L2. Actually, if I filter, Pro L2. Put a limit on the bass at minus three. I'll add four dB again. Super slow attack, super fast release. Aggressive. That ain't gonna work, so we have to change that. Boom. Now the EQ. Right around 50 or so. I'll put a little dynamics thing. Or use a kick to trigger that. So right click, side chain to this track. Just like that. Now we need to accept the side chain signal. Cool. 
set the EQ to 32. What the hell? Something's going wrong. Unless. some motion not a lot but we do want some motion so I can use the what you want to call it a preset sublime slime no motion or we'll smooth it out 100% or bring back the width bring back the rate increase the release don't know the attack this is not a compressor it's an automatic panel cool just to add some movement love that now we can move into the meat, the crux of the track, which is these samples. First one is this transition. Firstly, right click on it, file, crash high pass, 
I go filter out everything. Boom. Second, Valhalla vintage plate. Or Valhalla plate is no vintage plate. And we are going to add adamantium. Mix back to about 30% increase the decay. Nice. Turn on the volume a little bit. Second, we have this crash here. Right click file, crash high pass. Simple, straight to the point. Turn on the volume. We have a second crash for bring over it. Start the track here. Increase this. See me? It's the second crash. Same exact treatment. Right click file, crash high pass, Valhalla, plate. This time around, we'll try steel. Increase the time, same way. Mix about 40%. Look a pretty lay up on the one. Amazing. Turn it down too loud. Still too loud. Turn it down. Steer to accent, not take over. Perfect. Nice. We are going to this, this is the brass or the string stab from Melee. Cool, same treatment once again, EQ, Reverb, Fab Filter, Pro Q. This time we are going to use the preset, we are going to use Valhalla Vintage Plate. I would have come out of the Valhalla Vintage Plate into a Valhalla Vintage Verb. So we are wash the reverb after we wash the sound. No. I need everything on the screen so I can follow along with what I do. This sound is very aggressive. Cool. Let's get all of these things off of the side. So if we play it right now, you hear that a shit ton of pre delay. If we turn on the mix, instant. Cool. First thing we need to do, craft up the sound. Make it darker. Lot of points, lot of controls needed. Boom, file, make dynamic. I really care about certain aspects. Certain aspects we care about though. Definitely. Why are none of these clean? Perfect. No. Here, adamantium. Six seconds ish. Mix about 25-30%. Perfect. Here. Sanctuary. Pre-delay. About 40. Ah shit, you know what? I'll just set it somewhere. Sound. No. The key. Roughly. Three and a half, four seconds, something like that. And then we do the mix. About the same. Now, the reason why we do the pre-delay upon the second track is I'm going to solo out the sound. So if you listen to the, the track without the vintage reverb, boom, it have reverb on it, fine. With the Valhalla plate on it, much longer. With the vintage verb, way, way longer. That's exactly what I want. In the truck, I just will blend it and all. Now, in between the vintage verb and the plate, we are going to waves, S1. One 1.3 should be enough. Perfect, it's washed. Sounds amazing, let's turn this down a little bit more. Cool, next, get into the vocal chops. First one is this one from Denny White. All of the vocal chops are on the same track, so it don't really even matter. Make them vocal chops to stand out. We're going to add a micro shift 
upon the track right before it go into the reverb. Now, the reason why the micro shift are going to work, we are going to show you. First, we are going to start with it 100% wet style 2, detune max. The key or delay, a little bit loose, not too much, is me. But it was 69 or so. That's fine. We don't need it too loose. Boom. Turn the focus a little bit. So anything above roughly, let's see, vocals, mm, about 55. That's fine. If you listen, no. Yeah, it's wide, but it don't really sound like shit. But when we start turn back the mix, sound bigger, sound louder. If we turn off the micro shift, but of course it's the play by itself. So when we put it in the truck, you can really hear the difference. No, before the micro shift. I want to add some ear to the vocals. Now, normally when I use fresh ear, fresh ear seems to add a lot of unnecessary noise to my trucks. I hate that. So, we're going to use a plugin from Black Salt Audio named Oxygen. We use the ear band. takes care of all of the Denny White vocals. No, the meat, the absolute reason why me love this rhythm is these set of vocals I'm going to introduce and now. Them yeah. uh, The whole reason I love a rhythm. Cool. And that's pretty much the mix. <laughs> is it? Verse. Oh, shit. Judge of God, forget about him now, <laughs> Where are they on the mixer? They are not. That's why. My apologies. So let's bring on these four trucks. So my vocal tag is included in that. Let's right click, file, producer tags. Oh. But I'll forget about them thing there. <laughs> it happens. No worries. Let's rename this. And put vocal tag here. Run to story. Turn that down. That about this. That about this. The S minus 22. Boom. No. Cool. Damn, this seems to be getting louder and louder. The, the top vocal chop, which is the pitch one. I'll bring this down, take off some half height. Cool, so now let's do these crashes. Boom. Same exact thing. File. Crash high pass. I really need to see if this has a preset, bro. I swear. That way we can just load it. <laughs> Valhalla. Reverb. Plate. This time we're going to stick to steel. I mean chrome. 40-ish percent. Boom. Pretty late. Cool. That is one. 
to. Всем ты. Same exact thing. File, Valhalla, Reverb, Plate. This time we're gonna use the adamantium. No, we're gonna use steel. Look a shot at this time around. More mixed though. I don't hear the crashes. All right, that's because. Well, I did a crash. Same treatment. This time, though, no reverb on the track directly. I'm going to put it through an ox. Now we can get into the mastering phase. First four, all is the same. Start making changes at the exciter. Retro. Tip. Sounds so different between them two, Stavia. I know I'm not tripping, dog. Them things are so different. This is pitched down 100 cents. And this is pitched down on. Why the hell are those sounds so different, dog? I don't know. It hurt me.
بهشون یک ورسیت That's pretty much it. Until next time, it's the boy, it's Beast, the truck star. Peace.